Well, boys, another college basketball weekend is upon us. We are all excited here, ready to go. It's going to be fun, let me tell you that. Um, so we get things started a little bit early. It's a very early start, 10 in the morning. That is Xavier taking on Seton Hall, man. Seton Hall is a damn good team. Um, you know, it, 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 It's going to be fun, let me tell you that. Um, it's a little early for my taste, but you know what? Fox does what Fox does, um, and you know, I mean, it, it, it just, it, it's, it's just gonna be fun, let me tell you, I mean, good God, good God, good God, number 10 in the country, Seton Hall, but by, by, by all that, you know, um, <clears throat> trying to look at some things right now um as of course you know you know miles powell leads you know to lead seton hall and he's been such a good player um there's really like a lot of good players that i haven't talked about at all um either due to my lack of knowledge about these players or my lack of seeing their games which is rather unfortunate for me um because i mean good god I mean, there's so many players, so many good players in college basketball that I don't see each and every week. I have to subject myself to, to like, the Longhorns every week because, you know, it's my team and it's unfortunate. But <laughs> we're not going to talk about the Longhorns yet. Um, but this game is very, very important. Um, as far as the Big East standings goes, I'm looking at them right now. Seton Hall is on top with Villanova and Butler right behind them. Big East is looking very, very tough. Looking like there could be a lot of tournament teams coming from the Big East. Let me tell you that. Um, as far as the Big 12 is concerned, of course, you know, you still got Baylor and Kansas on top. Uh, um, I don't know what in the world's happening this weekend as far as Baylor and Kansas are concerned. Um, of course, you know, the Big 12 is not looking very strong this year. But at the same time, you know, you got two really strong teams at the top. West Virginia is kind of there. Um, also, Texas Tech is there. Uh, TCU is just kind of middle league right now. Haven't really seen much about TCU, so, you know. But definitely Baylor, Kansas, and West Virginia. Um, those three can already for sure lock them up and put them in the tournament. But everybody else needs work. Um, and, of course, there's other teams that kind of just, ugh, it just look like trash out here. And as far as the ACC goes, um, it, it's been weird to say the least. You know, Virginia hasn't been this powerhouse that has dominated the ACC like it has. Louisville is on top, followed by Duke, Florida State. Florida State especially, man, that is a good team right there, let me tell you. Um... The American Athletic Conference, Houston's on top, um, Tulsa right behind them, Cincinnati and Wichita State all just clinging around. I don't know what in the world the Americans going to do next year as far as you know conference games goes. I believe they should go to 20. Um, there's no, really no point in trying to delay the inevitable. You got to go to 20. It doesn't matter what conference you are in, you got to go to 20 if you can. Um, and then the Big Ten is a weird, weird time. Let me tell you. Rutgers is in the top five. Maryland, Michigan State, who is number two right now. And Illinois. I don't know where in the world Illinois came from. They're 16 and five right now. Very good team. Very good team. I don't know what in the world is going on with this team, but they beat Michigan the other night. Um,. In a, in a real close one, and then they beat somebody else um, earlier. I saw the highlights for it earlier. Um, shout out to my, to my UNT being green out here, leading Conference USA and everything like that. And then we go a little bit further down here to the Mountain West because San Diego State is still undefeated, 22-0, 11-0 in conference. They are doing pretty, and they are going to do um, if they keep this streak going, because there's not a lot of games left in, in conference for San Diego State, you know, this could be uh, an undefeated team come conference tournament time, not the NCAA tournament, not for tournament time, um, but San Diego State's looking real good, 
Pac-12, 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 Pac-12. What can you say about the Pac-12? Colorado lost the other night. Um, and USC and Oregon were also in the top three. Stanford kind of fell off a little bit. They were like, what, 15 and like two, but now they've lost like three, you know, games in conference. Um, Arizona's still kind of there. Um, most of the Pac-12 is just kind of middling around right now. And um, in the SEC... LSU is on top. Strange, isn't it? And Kentucky and Auburn are close behind. And then there's just a bunch of other teams that are just kind of there. Like Florida is just kind of there. Um, who We've highlighted on this channel before as a really, really interesting team. Um, they're actually 4-3 and three in conference right now. But um, keep, keep your eyes on LSU, Kentucky, and Auburn. And also, the, and also from the Atlantic 10... Um, keep your eyes on those Dayton Flyers, man. Really good team. They only have two losses in during the entire season. They're eight no in conference play. Um, but let's let's get into some more of these games. Um, then at you know 12 p.m. So you once you get up and start your day, it's gonna be these two games that I would like to highlight: Connecticut taking on Memphis. Now Memphis hasn't looked the greatest. Um, and Connecticut's on their way out of the American, what can I say more? Um, but Michigan State, Wisconsin, that's going to be very interesting. We'll see what Cassius Winston and company can do. Love watching them play. Um, you know, just a good team right there. Uh, then we got to disappoint ourselves each and every week with those Longhorns, man. Um, they did play earlier this week, but I don't know who they played. Like, oh, it was like. Nothing that I can find. It was like, hey, who did the Longhorns play this week? I don't even know. But they're playing Iowa State this week, um, this weekend. Um, that's going to get one. So to all my Texas fans, um, y'all are the real MVPs with sticking around because I honestly am just getting kind of tired at this point <laughs> of sticking around. Um, but I love, I love the Longhorns. We're, but we're not going to spend too much time on them. There's a game on ABC on Saturday if you're interested, but it's Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. That really doesn't move the needle for me. It's just kind of there. Really kind of only serves to don't give. Um, it really kind of only serves just to give more programming to, you know, um, ESPN, you know, give more time slots because there's nothing on ABC on a, on a Saturday afternoon anyway, so, you know, they should be having more basketball on a Saturday, but, you know, not going to talk about that right now. Um, at 3 p.m., which is going to be very interesting, Texas Tech taking on Kansas and the TCU at Baylor, man. Uh, both these teams are the one-two punch in the Big 12. You know, it's going to be fun. Uh, both these games are going to be fun games. And, you know, again, it's just going to be uh, something interesting. As we move on down right here, you know, we got Kentucky at Auburn. Oh boy, let me tell you, that's gonna be very interesting. Very interesting game right there. And then, um, let's see, huh? Not a lot left here, aside from you know um, Duke at Syracuse. Um, Duke again, just a very good team. Really haven't heard much about them in the last couple of weeks. Uh, it just been kind of there. Of course, there's other teams that we haven't. Really highlighted like Gonzaga, who's just gonna dominate all the way into their conference tournament, I believe. Um, but then we get to Sunday. Sunday's gonna be very interesting again because I mean, there's, there's basketball on all well, not all day actually, but it, the latest game that will probably be going on is an ESPN Plus game involving a couple of um, Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference teams like CNN and St. Peter's, that'll be at 3 p.m. So, you know, if you live out there, um, wherever St. Peter's University is, if you live out there, um, make sure you get home in time. You got an hour and a half after the game ends to get home in time for the Super Bowl, baby. Um, but the game I want to highlight on Sunday is not only Illinois and Iowa, that's going to be very interesting, but also Georgetown and St. John's. Now, Georgetown... St. John's, two big, big East teams. Let me go check out the Big East standings again. Um, as we look here. Ah, yes, here we go. 
they're more towards the bottom of the Big East right now. Georgetown is in seventh place, twelve and nine, two and six in conference play. St. John's is thirteen and nine, two and seven in conference play. Um, well, these teams are going to be looking for something to prove here. Now, they definitely want to get into that that back half of the conference schedule to get into the back half of the conference schedule to try to uh, try to you know get themselves into the tournament. I mean, they got both these teams really don't have players that I could like just say, mm, well, they, these guys are really good. Maybe Mustafa Heron um, for St. John's, but that's about it, to be completely honest with you. And then, let's look at Georgetown here. Um, not, again, not a lot um, to go down here. Um, you know, um, Georgetown did lose to Butler earlier this week, so uh, yeah, of course you know Sean McDermott who's been at Butler forever, I swear. Um, you know, it's just gonna be, you know, really kind of puts a dent in Georgetown's tournament hopes here. Uh, but they've got some interesting guys here, um, like Mac McClung and Omer Seven. Um, I hope I said that right, but uh, we're not going to go into that too much. Um, it's also an interesting article if you want to read it about um, about Wahab. I'm not going to say his first name. Um, his first name sounds confusing. There's a very interesting article about him if you look up Georgetown right now. Uh, but that game is very going to be very interesting, you know, just for the sake of being interesting. Um, but again, not too much else really to say. Um... It's just gonna be one hell of a weekend, man. So, all the basketball is here to stay. And as we get deeper and deeper into the season, I promise you, I'll be a little bit better, <laughs> be a little bit more attentive in looking up these players and stuff like that. Um, I'm watching more games, to be completely honest with you. I kind of just tune college basketball out once the Longhorns lose, which is kind of sad. Um, so, yeah, that'll do it for this video, everybody. Um, this weekend's going to be great, let me tell you. So, y'all are the real MVPs. Those are the games I wanted to highlight, because um, they were on the big networks and stuff like that. And of course, there's other games as well, involving other top-ranked teams. But yeah, um, big boy out. We'll see you guys, um, after the Super Bowl. Y'all take care.